Um, Hi everyone. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we are the Dice Stormers. Uh, well, Ari, some of us. John, yeah, Ari, yeah. Derek, and Nathan. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are all of What's us. What's happening? Uh, we are tonight playing uh, Call of Cthulhu, uh, Call of Cthulhu Modern, and we're playing one of the adventures from uh, Fear's Sharp Little Needles. That, sounds, that, that <coughs> looks like something you would kickstart. No, not a kickstarter, I just purchased it. Really it. Does. Um, Is your picture in it, Murray? No, no, there's no... I'm <laughs> yeah, sure come on. No, no, no. Check the credits. Oh, oh wait, no, it's on your t-shirt. I'm dead. What's the, <laughs> hang on, what? <laughs> is that that really cool craft Star Wars? The, what's this, this is what I love craft beer. Yes, yes. This is love craft yes. beer. I love craft beer. He sure um, does. Yes. So. Um, right. So modern, it's... as in 2018. So as in uh, yes, Call of Cthulhu in this day and age. Um, so we are uh, hashtag modern. About to meet the uh, the investigators. Um, so why don't we start with you, John? Okay, I'm playing Frank Andrews, and he's an actuary. Oh, yeah, is that time exactly time an hour? That's you have an hour. Exactly an hour. Yeah, so you have if an we hour. Stop to, up, suddenly you're... the sand will drop. Yeah. Excellent. Cool, cool. And you've been able to tell and us if, the character. You, okay, so it all started when I was six years old. <laughs> uh, so Frank Andrews is an actuary. He works for the company. And he carries Which around company? the company, the company, the company. Uh, and he uh, is a risk assessment uh, lawyer, lawyer actuary, I guess, yeah, actuary. actuary yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he carries around a suitcase within that uh, has two keyholes to it. He has a key for one, but who knows? Has the key for other? Maybe it's his love interest. Has he ever seen the inside of the case? Uh, I'm not at liberty to say <laughs> at this moment. Uh, but yeah, and he is he is tasked with some very obscure places to go to mm -hmm. for risk assessment. Yeah, one of which is Whispering Pines. Whispering Pines is his latest one that the company has yeah. sent him to. Does he get like, he just gets like an email on where to go and what to do? And I can't actually say because um, <laughs> my company is very private around how I receive information. And what was your name, sorry? I can't actually give names. It's Frank Andrews. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's such a very private about Frank that. Andrews, that's a very generic name. I like that. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not living to say whether or not that is generic or not. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, I know. I, I can't. I can't actually confirm or deny that. <laughs> yeah, right. and he's a fairly nondescript-looking person. He's sort of a tall, shortish man with longish, shortish hair. Um, darkish brownish <laughs> hair. Darkish brownish, brownish hair. hair. <laughs> his, his eyes are sort of greyish, brownish, blue. It just depends on the light, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. difficult to say. And yeah, he wears like a, he wears a, like what a normal person I've would just wear. Written, like, yeah. a normal person I've just would written wear. down as your name, Frankish. <laughs> Frankish. Wow, he's Frankish. <laughs> I like that. Um, I hope that really paints a picture of who Frank Andrews possibly is. Clear although as maybe is. So if, if you were to die on this adventure, no one would really notice. Well, I can't actually say whether okay, that's, that's true no, or not. But that would that would really mess up the. Uh, but he's risk. very he's very memorable in what he does. You know right. what I mean? Like Look, it, he might be. Okay. You just don't remember. It's getting like, really irritated. Yeah. Really so, are, are, are people are people chatting to yeah, us? Yeah, people saying hello. Hi, hi, chat. Good hi, chat. We'll chat back. Oh, that's right, back chat. No, sorry, Derek. So in the last video, you would have seen that Nathan was wearing a headband, and he's upgraded <laughs> now to wearing headphones. Yeah. So I'm next time, up the you'll notice he'll be wearing a helmet, and uh, then yeah. we don't know where it goes from there. But <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Yes. A crown. A, a crown. Probably a crown. Oh, yes. yeah, that is the natural yeah, step. Right. <laughs> People but who ride motorcycles often Derek, upgrade so, to crowns. So my, my character is a 17-year-old... Hacker called Clancy Abignail. What's your What's your username though? My My username. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the, Maybe the chat could give me a good Cyber? username. Oh, yeah. Uh, because um, maybe that's a matrix. Cypher. That's a matrix. Um, we got two people on there at the moment. Yeah. So it's maybe be, like if it was of this time period, it'd have to be like some ridiculous name, like. Yeah. You'd have to have an underscore. And it'd have to have numbers after it, like it'd be, two, three, two, or something. It'd be like late speak. You know what I mean? Like, uh, even, elite like, speak, even elite speak is kind of a little bit old-fashioned. But anyway. Be, they've been underscored. The, ch the chat way. will provide. The chat will provide. Um, and so, yes, glasses, thick glasses, um, a bit of acne, and because my appearance is only 45, and a little bit of uh, a, sort of a short cropped hair, and what? generally sort of... What colour? Black. Oh. Mm. Yeah, bit of, bit of goth mixed in there with the, um, right. the attitudes. Here's right. things. Mm, I reckon piercings. piercings, yeah. yeah I reckon piercings. Maybe one of those ones that go from the ear to the nose. No, is no. That, that is. <laughs> <my> period. I <laughs> don't think anyone does that. The sort of the, the horseshoe 
Oh, Le, um, Le, Le Bray? Is it Le Bray? Maybe. It's something what about like, like that? one that goes through the chin and in through here? Yeah. The one I found is the, like the fake dimples. You know the ones that are just like, oh, no, they, like don't, they, they don't. They go in and they're, they're just like, yeah. Or oh, the ones that you can hide from chains from your back. No, did, way, you see, did you see the, the latest um, engagement ring, which is just a piercing of a <gasps> diamond into your finger? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's seventeen, anyway. so. But yeah, that's yeah, maybe Clancy. Not, maybe not. <laughs> Clancy. That's Lovely. Clancy. So. Nathan. Okay, um, I'm Martin McCain. Martin McCain. That's Martin a McCain. Great name, Martin McCain. Eminem. Um, Eminem. Martin Andrew McCain. Oh, um, Andrew. Yeah. Um, so he is a, um, well, he, it depends on where, where he is, like, what he is now is very different to where he was. He was a soldier, he was, you know, the, in the Iraq war, he was very much in that kind of area. Came back, um, something happened, and he has kind of, like, now he doesn't, he doesn't, he lives on the street, he's very much, um, oh. drifted from town to town, he has... You know, PTSD kind of is almost sin like symptoms. There's a bit of Rambo he's, in going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. He's just he's lost he's lost his way and he doesn't know why. Uh -huh. and it's kind of like he's kind of like trying to rediscover what that's all about okay. and how he's moving forward on that. Now, okay. now, we're supposed to be sitting on these. On yeah, these you're cars. sitting on that. Oh, I'm not sitting. I, sitting I, literally I, sitting on it. Okay, I, I I'll, I'll tell you when that. Happens. I'm warming it up, am I? You are. Yeah. Like a laying an egg, right? Yes. If it if it starts to blow and vibrate. That's You're doing something game. wrong. No, no, it's part of the game. Um, <laughs> okay. So I was wondering. Um, so you were all at. Uh, you've all come to Whispering Pines for wh whichever reason. Um, there Where is, is that? a. Where is Whispering Pines? Whispering Pines is about ninety minutes from Arkham. Um, okay. It's in north. Uh, ninety minutes. Yeah, north. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> Could okay. be. Not at liberty to. Okay. Yeah, no, the company has no <laughs> information. Yeah, yeah. No, you've just been told. You, yeah, you just got the you just got the coordinates. Yeah. So hang on. Yes. So if I was ninety minutes south, it would be ninety minutes north, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and so Whispering Pines, about half a mile from the town of Whispering Pines, is a place called the Lakeside Coffee House. So that's oh, what I you've like been asked place. to assist. Um, Clancy, you've had an invitation huh? from um, someone named Elvira, um, who you know online. Yep. Um, and. Uh, Aloe Vera? Elvira. 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 Um, and she's she's invited you to, to attend this um, really interesting poetry night that's here. Um, I love poetry. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, you're... But what, what about engaged? What about you, Martin? Are you, are you simply... Um, this is just a long line of dusty roads that have run right, okay. here. So you've, you've, you've wandered um, into town and, about, and yeah. this, is, this is what's on tonight. So, What's it's free. Is, it's free entertainment. <laughs> I don't have to like, and ultimately, I can stay in a warm place yep. for an evening. And you know, I'm not the cleanest gentleman, but I know you can use the shower facilities, okay. maybe, and you know. So, um, you all uh, make your way to the Lakeside Coffee House. I um, enjoy two coffees a day. You enjoy two coffees a day. Okay. Um, Precisely so, the same way. So that every time. As in, yeah. as in one in the morning and one in the evening. Yes. Okay. So when you when you get to the coffee house, do you? Go and I ordered the coffee for okay, my second so coffee. I'm assuming it's afternoon. Yeah, they're like, yeah. You, well, you can get there late afternoon. So Whatever, you, well, you're the GM. I don't want to step oh, quick, in. Quick question, know. can I have a mechanical pencil, please? One mechanical pencil. Well, I'll take oh, one of the oh, that's what they went to. They were in front of me. <laughs> so thieves. Oh man, that's oh, just that this one kind of died. No worries, the pink one's for you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, late afternoon. Uh, can you give me a spot hidden check, Very please? Much. I sure can. Everybody. No, no, just him. He's he's. You're all entering um, and arriving individually. His attention to detail is incredible. Watch this. I succeed, and we'll tick it off. Great. You notice uh, that the uh, barista who serves you um, is wearing a name badge. And, um, I do know that. Her name is Sophie. Sophie. So she makes you your coffee order. There's also someone, there's some other people around. So the, the Lakeside Coffee House is uh, sort of a, quite a large uh, collection of tables. There's a, a wall of bookshelves, um, quite disorganized old new mm. books all over the place That's there's, a, not there's a little shelf uh, sorry, a little stage being made up in the corner with a microphone no. um, and the tables have all been arranged that they they don't face the uh, the stage but all of the <coughs> chairs can quite easily be turned to face the stage for the poetry night which is can, being advertised for that while my coffee is being made mm. I will arrange the books in a better order <laughs> okay so you you start to I will start to arrange that the, process. the books right. alphabetically in, and no in the correct way <laughs> the Dewey Decimal? decimal? <laughs> in, in the correct way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really just saying exactly how uh, it is, but it's to my specification. Right, so you're, you're going to start... It's my colour. <laughs> um, you're going to start on the, 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 the far... No, the right. The far right? Just the right place. 
the correct place. The to correct start. place. Okay, you start at the correct place. Um, yeah, this way, this 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 won't get old very quickly. And you, <laughs> like and you are. Thanks, um, you notice that she's making other coffees. There's there's um, you know a, a couple of other patrons in there um, having coffee as well at the same time. So she makes your coffee uh, whilst you are arranging the bookshelf. Um, correctly. Clancy comes in. Um, I will. I will order myself a coffee as well. Okay. Is this a licensed venue? I mean. Yeah, there, there is. There is alcohol for sale. Well, maybe an Irish coffee then. Um, Have you got ID? How old? Oh, yeah, seventeen. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, Good thing. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Look, my my jacket was stolen at this at the station. Oh, that's a, that's a... You'll need yeah. to, uh... Fast talk? Fast talk. Fast yeah. talk? Yeah. Um, my jacket. <laughs> oh, wait, you're a girl, ain't you? So, yeah, that's why. Oh, I don't assume my gender. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You told me. <laughs> it's written on your freaking character. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody mistakes her for a boy, so... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, fast talk? 20. I'd make it. No. Oh. It's a small town. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. She, it was a Sophie, pretty crappy Sophie, excuse. Sophie uh, says, yeah, yeah, sure, you're 21, and winks at you. Uh, oh, I like you, Sophie, I like Sophie. <laughs> Do you pull your wallet out to pay for this drink? After you've said <laughs> you've wallet in your, in your jacket? Yeah, I was thinking yeah, the, 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 the really cashed up 17-year-old hacker, yeah. No, I, I have a pay wave in my ring. Ooh. Not in your hand, it's like an insertable. No, it's not, it's oh, not ring. Oh, it's okay, it's cool. on the ring. That's cool. really cool. Um, um, and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I use that to, to pay for my coffee, cool. and I go and sit down. I pick up yep. one of the books that he's just arranged, and I pull it off the shelf and okay. uh, leaf through it. Okay. Um, you know... It's like grinding. Can you so. give me a spot hidden check? Mm -hmm. As well. Uh, ten. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. you, you yeah, notice in well. the corner there's a guy How who's got just... several uh, Fake dice. empty mm -hmm. uh, espresso cups in front of him. Oh, um, right. He's kind of... Oh, he's my people. <laughs> and then he like downs another espresso while he's sitting there. Um, kind of, uh, are you gonna? I'm gonna. Is he looking at something or is he? No, no, no. Just sort of, just sort of focused and kind of shaking a little bit. But right. he's, he's he's had like four, <coughs> four, four espressos that you can see. Yeah, we've been there. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's my people. So um, I go up and I. Is he close to the stage? Um, no, he's sort of. He's sort of a. <sighs> Yeah, about halfway back. Halfway? He's not um, uh, trying to um, attract attention, but he's failing abysmally. As you get close, there's a really strong smell of um, sort of medicated sports cream, so Bengay or, or Voltaren, kind of like <laughs> really, really like peppermint, a... sort of you know that <laughs> mocha, really mentholy, yeah. pepperminty okay. sports cream. He hasn't he hasn't made eye contact with you yet. All right, um, as you approach. So well, he, he may not be the right kind of mark for me. All right, I'll sit just in front of him. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, you know, hang on mark. <laughs> mark. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, so I, I will um, sit in front of him. Okay. And, and, and just, you know, just lean back in my chair and maybe listen to, to his ravings or okay. see if there's, uh, see if I can figure out what he's on about. Okay, okay. There's no, there's no audible sound at the moment. It's just sort of... He's just sort of, you know, focused into a point in space, and he's kind of jumpy and, there's yep. a little, you know, quite sweaty. Uh -huh. um, so, so, yeah. And then, um, whilst you're you're interested in that and you're still organising, can you give me a luck roll yeah. while you're doing that? We are playing seventh edition Call of Cthulhu, if you're wondering at home. And um, uh, so, right. so, this is the one where it's all oh, it is, yeah. statistic based. Well, okay. percent. Uh, really oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty on the <laughs> No, I failed. No. Okay, cool. Um, and then whilst you're um, getting slightly further in, and no one else has disturbed your book organisation, um, Martin McCain walks in, stumbles in, stumbles in. Um, already still drunk from the night before, I was to be honest. Really? Um, yeah, he, he's had a, he's had a rough one. He, he kind of got um, he went on one of those like greyhound buses. Like the big yep. buses of travel, and um, they kind of worked out he wasn't really going to pay him. Like he got a f kind of far, but they kind of like this was the stop where he got um, run. let Drown out. Off. Run. Um, <laughs> still walking around, he has his military jacket on. Kind of comes into the bar, like you know, obviously you know, definitely working the angle of like you know, yep. like kind of working those angles there. 
And so he walks in and asks for a coffee and is very charming to the way okay. uh, Hey, honey, how you going? But probably smells, right? Yeah, but not in like... Like, smell but covered with cologne. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of like, so whatever whatever smell was there is like residual to the, the amount of cologne that has been just right, tossed right. on this body. <laughs> and like, he shaved like at least last week, so it's kind of like, it's okay. neat but not perfect. Uh -huh. And so he's like, he's scruffy but not the worst you could possibly be. Can you give me a psychology roll? I would love to give you a psychology roll. Thank you for noting that I am actually got a skill in that one. Um, psychology, not a great skill. 60, yeah. That's all right. Boy. Far out. What do you yeah. count as a great skill, then? <laughs> That's like my second best skill. Yeah, there you go. Uh, got 20. Yeah, yeah. So you note that Sophie is kind of amused mm -hmm. to see you, and like she's seen it all before, um, but that your presence here is an interesting addition to the mix because, mm. you, you know, there's, there's more people have started to arrive <coughs> to stake out a table um, for, for the, the evening's um, poetry night, which is due to start at six. Um, so it's about probably a little bit after five at mm. this point. So there's a couple of tables left. That was Stacey, wasn't it? Sophie. St okay. Stacey. All right, cool. I tweet at Elvira mm -hmm. um, and, tweet. Say that I'm, and say that I'm in front of the hypercaffeinated um, basket case. Okay, you get a you get a text message back. Oh, uh, <laughs> that that's Ron. <laughs> he's he's the organizer. Oh, okay. He, I think he's probably a little nervous. <laughs> I'm I'm on my way. I'll be there. There in five. Emoji, emoji, emoji. <laughs> okay. um, Winky face, thumbs up. I'm surprised you're not live streaming this entire thing. Yeah, you know the, I mean? a periscope it or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, bad, bad internet. <laughs> What's the internet? Yeah, no, 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 no. There's, 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 there's good invitations to, uh, to Twitch it live to, to, um, you know, dice stormers on all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's, there's, um, yeah, and you note that <coughs> some of the other patrons they've, they've got all their devices out there, some recording devices. There's, you know, people on their phones. Um, they're, you know, they're ready. There's a little um, dictaphones and H4s and H2s. Oh wow, they record it. Quite oh, wow. They're kind of, they're kind of keen. What about H6s? Um, no. Maybe they're like, nobody like, like, well, I know. Uh, nobody would have. Nobody, nobody, would, nobody uses H6s. Have we got, have we got, a, have we got, a, have we got a, a username for Clancy from the chat? Yeah. Oh, no. Let's Clancy? Check. I will check that. Not Clancy. Know. That's a bit too classy for. for Clancy? Clancy. Um, no, not yet. So if anybody, yet. Has a, if anybody has Anyone a name. Anyone in the chat has a username for our 17 year old Hacksaw, uh, one, one, slightly one. emo uh, hacker, um, Clancy. Um, what was your surname? Clancy. Clancy. Abignail. Abignail, yes. Abba. Um, and Alvia uh, walks in, oh, um, and she's a 17-year-old uh, uh, sort of goth chick as well. So nice. she's got the, you know, the the, the, the dark, dark hair, the dark clothing, and 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 she, um, you know, does the typical lack of conversation greeting. Yep. Um, you know, nods of heads and cool. Yep. I I push the chair out that's cool. next to me. She she sits down next to you and um, she she t texts you, good seats. Um, <laughs> That's what happens. Cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the place starts to fill up, and all sorts of uh, mix of Ooh, people. Here we go. We got a name: blissful, Ca blissful underscore chaos. Oh, that's blissful cool. chaos. Yes. chaos. Who said that? That was totally going to steal that. Fervent rising. rising. That's great. I like that one. Cool. Blissful chaos. Blissful underscore chaos. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Um, and all sorts of different types of people start to arrive and take up their uh, positions and start to pose. They are a, a mixture of the earnest poet. There are some people there who come in their threadbare coats. Is anybody wearing like a, a like a beret? Yeah, a beret. I love that I got beret from that. Um, <laughs> hey, yes. You know look, there's the entire range. There's a guy who comes in with a top hat and it's got a peacock feather in it. Oh. There's all levels from earnest, serious. Poet so like to pretentious, so uh, I want to be seen to be seen poet. Um, you know, there's selfies being taken. At so poet, this is kind uh, of like what you would call, you know, just your average midtown American. Uh, small well, town. there seems to be. I mean, it's but you noticed that it was a sleepy town. You know, Whispering Pines is not a 
not a destination by any point. I, you know, barely wouldn't have been Mate, a stop we, on the on the Greyhound bus if you hadn't have not paid. When we when um, we when we came into this place, it was like it was, <laughs> let me guess, just a low fog, lots of trees, very so, dark. So look, so there's, you've got you've got a lovely lake um, out beyond the. Oh, uh, the lake. oh yeah, it's yeah, that's great. We'll Juniper definitely lake. go swimming yeah. around that yeah. lake. Yeah, so lake. it's so okay. so peaceful that it never ripples. Yeah, so it's just glass. You've got Whispering Pines about half a mile from Whispering Pines. You've got um, which is on the the shore of Juniper Lake, <laughs> and then there's the um, so the coffee house veranda looks out onto the lake, and you've oh. then got the car park, which is slowly starting to fill up with people nice. sort of making their destination trip here. Mm -hmm. So it's probably about quarter to six by now, um, and you know the the place is starting to really hum. Um, and are you still organising the bookshelf? <laughs> yes. How many? <laughs> can you give me? There? Can you give me another? Um, it's like an entire wall of this book, and as more and no. more, as more and more people have come in, they've started to read the books. rearrange oh. and pull out the books that you've. No, that you know, doesn't bother <coughs> me. Cool. No, nice. no, that doesn't bother me. Great. That really doesn't bother me. Okay, can you roll? How much? I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. How much How much doesn't it bother you? Out of like, can you roll? It's fine. My teeth aren't, you know, scraping together. Can you roll a 1d20 for me? Natural 20. <laughs> um, amongst your searching, you find this. <laughs> the Necron... Necron... The Necronomicon. <laughs> you find this loose page. Okay. Oh. Now oh. you've got a... Now you've oh. got a... Can you, can you read it to us? Now you need to find the The Stranger book. Supplicating. Oh, Hastor. Has, has, Hastor. We can't see you in the... <laughs> <laughs> Hang up. Hey, John, so let's just work out. Let, let, let me just give you a bit of hint about YouTube, all right? Yeah. They can't see your face. Like, you don't exist. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Okay, supplicating. <laughs> oh, Hastor, forgive this sweet child. Hang on, I just need to fix it for one Hastor, second. Hastor, I pass beg it? you, please be kind. For Car Caracosa's promise betrayed, she now has us all played. The stranger convulses and trembles, shaking from head to toe. Princess... Camille, mm -hmm. pleading on her knees, O oh, Hassator, O oh, Hassator, come without doubt or fear, for this man who will soon be vessel, he is dead lest I interfere. Silence. Then the stranger declares with a voice mighty and powerful that no longer seems his, Hassator, be way of the stranger, be way, by way of the stranger, sorry, mm -hmm. slowly and gloomily, I am the one who prowls and listens, I am the one who lives in the rustling, I am the one who is called but not named, I am the one who watches and follows, I am the secret and the great enemy, I follow, I follow thee, I follow and eat away one by one, all left astray. You want Caracosa restored? Your shame believes sacrifice. I take the daughter off it and make her my mate and spouse. End of act. And then there's this little bit yep, to the side. Right, quick, right. quick question. No, so there's a sanity. Well, yeah, you, you get to the end of that. A sanity um, roll for each line, right? Are you, can you give me a sanity check, please? Oh, fishes? Because or? you just start reading. Uh, I fail. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. Uh, no, I succeed. You succeed? Okay. Can you take two sanity points, please? Um, can you also give me an occult roll? No, I have almost nothing for occult. Uh, Just the okay, cool. standard. Yeah. No. Okay, you, the, so these names, Hastur and Carcosa, mean nothing to you? Yeah. Um, at that moment, the there is a strong smell of uh, medicated sports cream that sort of is suddenly present next to you. and Menthol <laughs> is how I identify it. Okay, menthol. Um, and a hand snatches this page from your grasp just as you finish reading it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the, the jittery um, guy that was behind. I didn't read this out aloud. Just no, 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 you should okay, read it. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, but for our viewers, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, <laughs> there it isn't. I, like, I just wanted I, to double I, check that I didn't. I like, yeah, no, you did it. I like it that if you just read it to yourself and just stood there and just like held the page there for yeah. like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, he grabs the page and kind of takes it off you. You have a strange smell about you. My name is uh, Frank, <laughs> Andrew Frank. Ron. Ron, your hands are sweaty. S yeah, and kind of... Moist. Unna well, uh, well, you know that unnaturally clammy... Yes. Um, yeah, can you give me a psychology roll? Sure. Mm. Psychoanalysis? No, psychology. Oh, okay. No. No. No, okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, 
you kind of like bemused as to why he's quite so clammy, but he makes his way from you, still clutching the page, up onto the um, the stage platform, um, and you know does the whole really bad tap tap on the mic. There's feedback, and you know it's like, oh, didn't you work that out, people? And he he stands there and and you know still clutching the um, the page and still shaking from all the coffee. Um, Where did I get this from? This page. Just it was the next was, thing in the shelf, but it was slotted in between. Say, two of, yeah, like yeah, like it had been filed, but it's as disorganised as the rest of the shelf. So it okay. was dissatisfying. Um, <coughs> and clearly, clearly, it's a page, a random page of a play um, that you've just come across. Sure. And you've simply sort of were yeah. going to reshell it. You might have even begun to compile, perhaps. Oh, can you give me? Could a I make a library scroll to see if I recognise? Okay. Yep, I succeed. You, you you know that it's a play. You rack your brain and you think you know about a play about Hastur and the character of Camille and the Stranger is kind of... It rings the bell, but it's on there. It rings the bell at the, at, cool. the, at the corners of your mind. Cool, I'll Google it while we do this thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so weirdly, yeah, Google, I think, has to be a library use on Google. Cool, I succeed. And, and what we... What, I'm surprised with, I don't know the Google, Google search, it's like, well, you're going to succeed, but if the first entry, like, takes your attention, so if you fail, it's obviously, you you know, you've typed in the wrong letter and it's a mistype, or, you you know, the Wikipedia article is just a stub, or something like that, so some complication will stop you for yeah. otherwise... Oh, no, I totally get it. I've yeah, been so down those right <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you... Um, I've uh, typed in Pan Hub before as well, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let that sit there. <laughs> well, just, what were you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, 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 no we're sitting you. there. Sitting there is not exploring. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go. So, let, let me go. Let me go. When you. Um, I don't you, believe this you, is. Um, can you also give me a, a spot hidden check, please? And you notice um, that uh, he, when he pushes past you, there's. No, I fail. You fail? Um, okay. Can you give me a. Um, oh. Not really a listen. There's no smell check. Um, I think listen does cover. Sorry, okay. King. Okay. Absolute yeah. pleasure. Anyway, sorry. We have a private listen. conversation with the chat now. No, um, she wanted. Uh, somebody said, "I just wanted to say I love your Rise of the Rudelands videos on YouTube. Thanks oh, for uploading, thank you. helping me a lot with my own GMing. Oh, thank you. Thank They're you. a freak. They're not. Our they're not our usual quality. Don't yeah, worry. No, yeah, Whoa. it's going to be down. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Murray's here. No, who, who, who <laughs> ran them? Was that Ben? Ben. Ben. ben was it? We're oh, sorry okay. that you, you're having to learn from Ben. Um, <laughs> yeah, they became, the better they became so, brilliant um, when we went off to book. I remember fishing for a. What did we fish for? A oh a um oh what's it called? It's an Australian. Creature, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, a fictional Australian and creature. I, and I got his hat. Oh, Robert. Yeah, a, no. What? That's a real creature, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anyway. I was going to say dugong, but they're actually a real <laughs> creature. <laughs> Fishing for the dugong. What? Oh, no. Anyway, no. sorry, continue. Anyway, um, can you give me a listen check? Did you? Oh, I failed it oh, quite dramatically. Hey, hey, so. fail. Okay. Once again, one of my um, signature skills. Less, lesser known skills as a gambler, I have 50 listen, mm -hmm. which I will fail right now. Or not, 33. So, oh, nice. as um, Ron makes his way past you, you just get the smell of... of Bengay. Bengay, or Voltaren, whichever one you want yep. to use. Um, and you've got that smell too. When he walks past you, you get that smell, but you also get a... There's a... You know that smell, because you mask the same smell that you have mm. um, with your cologne. Crippling right. body odor. So, <laughs> yeah, unwashed... No, your character, your character. Uh, but there's, you know, there's, yeah, there's something under the. the I'm so used to the cologne, I kind of that that kind mm. of is like heightened my senses there's for a, everything there's else. There's a smell under the, um, yeah, there's a smell under the, the the menthol that's not right. Not right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So anyway, he makes his way to the stage. He's clutching this page. He gives you one last look before he sort of turns his attention to what, everyone. What kind of a look? Uh, just a just a how dare you? Hang on. Trust? An angry angry look. Oh uh, yeah. No more more more. <sighs> Dramatically look at the camera. Oh, if you're yeah, analyzing the psychoanalysis. Aren't we using psychoanalysis for that purpose? No. no. I'm confused. So what's psychoanalysis for? It's kind of solving mental issues as opposed to perceiving some kind of um, sense motive, which is how I'm using it. Right. I'm using psychology as sense motive. That sort uh, of. Can I swap mine then? Because that was my purpose. Yeah, 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 sense motive. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Okay. I thought that'd be the other way around. Okay. There's no sense your... motive on this on these character sheets. Is there? 
Well, then maybe we should be using sense motive, Murray. Um, is, no, is there a sense motive? No, there's no, there's no, no sense motive. No, there no, is that's no. what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what we are? Skill. <laughs> what, what, oh, what you're we using are. a... Oh, we're using a D and D character. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. That's because you did that last time. Oh Not God. wrong system. <laughs> Can I just say, I really want to play a game where everybody has a different character sheet for a different, <laughs> different system, game. and they're rolling and it's different just dice. Like, it's like everyone. I want to roll perception. It's like, well, I've got this, so what that equals... we could do that with Star Wars. We could have one person oh. playing D six, one person playing Fantasy Flight, oh, one then... person playing D twenty. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> I would love and that. Someone doing Cthulhu Star Wars. <clears throat> All right, but the, the time's running out. It so is. I want to well, find out what... in more ways than one. So. um... Did you make your... Song? No. Okay, yeah, it's just a look like, you know, kind of, you don't belong here, how do you read my book? After, page. Okay. Yeah. after, after smelling and like kind of mm. getting that kind of, do, I'm much more like zoned in on him, yeah, right? Yeah, so luckily he walks past um, this well-dressed lawyer type. Um, who's reading a page and then immediately makes his way to the stage. Because at the moment, I can imagine my guy's like, he was very much in the moment, in the mood, mm -hmm. just looking around, mm -hmm. and then he's just kind of like, he's going, hang on, and just mm -hmm. locked onto this guy yep. and kind yep. of like, well, he's, he's, he's like, now, his instincts almost have kind of like kicked in. Great. And he's, well, kind he's, of now, like, he's now on the stage, the light's dim, and there's a sort of a spotlight on him, so yep. he's in the right spot. So nothing's going to go wrong here. Nothing at all. No. So um, he, he's sort of sitting there, he's sweating, um, you know, and he's clutching this page, uh, and he, he, Welcome to the poetry night. A night of. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of pretentious. No, 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 no poetry nights, you click. You don't really? Clap at your poetry nights. This is how you show your approval in it. Oh, all right, does okay. that not disturb Come on, you Philistines. Uh, yeah. Are you serious? Have you never been to a poetry night? No, Clearly not. This is, I'll make a roll. Yeah, okay. <laughs> poetry roll. Yeah, you, you, know, know, you know, sorry. Uh, you know what I get? You get cool points for that. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, everyone clicks their fingers, and those people who can't. Thank you. Um, what about people yeah. without fingers? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you notice. Uh, so he basically welcomes everyone to the poetry night. Um, it's a it's a night of original poetry. Um, I'd like to call up our, our first poet. And you know, someone, one of these sort of flamboyant, uh, you know, feathers in the hat and uh, wearing a feather boa comes up and um, <laughs> I they, they recite that. their their poem. Um, and there's 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 applause and no, no there's no, no applause. What's, what's that there's clicking? Clicking the pause? Clickaws? Clickaws? Is that what it's called? You know what? Let's let's let's, let's just go it. with clickaws. Clickaws? Yes. Clickaws. Hundred percent. Yes. Hundred percent clickaws. Um, yeah. And then there is jazz hands. <laughs> nice jazz hands. <laughs> So, um, then the next poet up is uh, a guy named Derek. How was um, he, by the way? <laughs> Sounds like a real loser. Am I, I right, need, everybody? No, no, I need, to, I need to show Derek uh, that, that actually Derek uh, is the name of the NPC. Derek is the and name of the And it's spelled yeah. correctly, too. It is. Um, How do you get it normally spelled? <laughs> oh, a wide so, variety. With a J. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got Murray, M-U-R-R-E-I. What's your actual name? Balm. B-A. I was like, whoa, <laughs> how many things could you get wrong? Murray Balm. Murray Balm. Was that like, whoa, was that like, like a Starbucks? Where you, so. was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I was yeah. <laughs> So, um, this, uh, Derek is a, uh, introduces himself. He's got one leg. Um, he's an African-American. Mm. He's about 40. So you immediately notice, Nathan, that he, uh, you, there's something about him that, Clearly identifies him as an ex-soldier. Yeah. Um, just the way he stands. Just the way he stands, and the fact yeah. that he's missing a leg. Um, yeah. The way he stands with one. But also um, right. that his poem that he recites is, is about PTSD. So it's, um, mm. it's, it's very you know I, about the. I the feel dark. that. I yeah. feel that. Yeah. I feel mm. that. Um, and uh, then then at the end of his poem, he invites anyone else got a poem they want to want to read. Is there like? Just, I'm just, I'm, you know, like, for a drink. There once was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> for a drink, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll okay. yeah, cool. you're going to step up? Yeah. He, he, if you step up, um, he, you know, you spare, you, you share, <laughs> you share that moment of, uh, <laughs> I recognize you as an ex-serviceman and, yeah. you know, I thank you for your service. Um, and he will absolutely, he'll spot you a drink. Okay, cool. So are we got now. You want me to read the whole thing, or do you want me to just kind of like start into it? Like I'm just. I want the whole gonna, thing. Whatever. It's gonna be dramatic. It's gonna about. start. It's gonna be like whoa. All right, guys. Give us a poem. Go I'm on. gonna be like bullets. Yeah. Two roads revert. Explosion. Shh. And then it goes. And then it goes deep. And it goes like friendship. Torn. In two. Oh. And then I'm just gonna be like, my head is spinning. In two. 
because it rhymes. Because <laughs> two, <laughs> two rhymes with two. Oh, yeah, yeah, but really. Yeah. And <laughs> so, so it goes on for quite a bit. But you know, there was there was well, a no, dramatic no, dance. Oh, look, I can't in front of the camera. But you know, yeah. like a dramatic oh. dance. And it's not the hour yeah. time. I don't want. Yeah, I don't yeah, want. Okay, I don't want to waste run. your How time. End? How does cool. it end? though? It ends with with a, with me basically um, sliding across the stage on my knees <laughs> um, to the point where I go and I end with war. Right. And so, that's it, and that's kind of where it ends after like a. If there if there was a blackout, there would have been one. There's not one. But yeah, which means right. I have to awkwardly cool. stand up. Um, yeah, and, and oh. get back here. So there are there are um, from the audience. You note that there are. I hug and embrace Derek. Right. I yes. Yeah. And then you make your way to the bar. You note where you're performing your poem that there are devices being held up, filming, and uh, you know there's 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 whispered criticism and critiquing going on amongst the crowd from various different people about, you know, mm. they appreciate your poetry mm. or that. You, I get, get you, you get the um, telltale what noise of your, um, your, your phone going off that you've just received a message. Okay. And it's a text message from Alvia saying... Uh, <coughs> you know, Isn't she sitting next yes, to you? Yes, she is. Okay, right. <laughs> You're like hacker. I love must I love use technology <laughs> constantly. Yeah. I've seen it. Oh, look, this is not, this is not just made no, up, this man. this is not this made is up. Observed. This is absolutely. Uh, yeah. Go on. Snapchat. <sighs> Selfie. I shoot Elvira a uh, withering look, and um, and then I she's hiding behind her fringe. So, yeah. <laughs> um, she, she fringe blocks me. I I step up onto the stage. Okay. Is there anyone sort of? No, no, no. Stage right? is yours. Okay. See what we've done. We've run with it. We've run with your applause. It's Quick. not even mine. It's the real thing. Oh yeah, sure. Real, as in like, is that your real, <laughs> no, think, real I, poetry? I think John might have actually gone. It's to a what I do online as my alter ego. Well, how do you click your fingers online, man? Yeah. How do you do that? that like? Is it like yeah. an emoji? The like, military industrial complex churns out its latest victim. <laughs> no one clicks. No one clicks. So it's basically. I'm amused. So. Clancy uh, launches uh, into this sort of um, um, uh, anti war right. propaganda. So, um. Did you, you write it yourself or is that her? Nathan, like, you and, um, Martin, you and Derek are at the bar and yeah. you hear this kind of line and you've just got the drinks and it's kind of like. You know, and you see this 17 year old mm. short mm. haircut. Uh, um, this <coughs> person on the on the stage just you know raging against war do you know my favorite thing about this game would be if it just remained as a poetry night and then that's where the game ended it just was a poetry <laughs> night in cthulhu cool. universe cthulhu. <laughs> poetry, poetry night, night. night. it's night. just like yeah. Yeah. tentacles and it's, suckers yeah. <laughs> madness it's it's very much centered on on the government and okay. how the government is um you know sending all these people off to die for no right. real right. purpose other to, other than to line their own pockets with so um, your your poem is quite divisive there are, there are. You can tell that there are some sections. Oh, you're in the, Arkham. Oh no, we're 90 minutes from 90 Arkham. 90 minutes from Arkham. So there is, there is some people who, who absolutely agree with everything you're saying. You can see the nodding. It's almost, uh, you know, gospel congregation esque. And others. And others who are clearly <laughs> not, not <laughs> impressed by your, your stance. Um, and your dishonouring of their service. Hey, and their I'm, memory. I'm with you, man. You, you've been, you've been churned up and spat out. You know, by right. the so you, you know what I do? I've got the bit of the like. <laughs> you've been used. And you're like, you're, you've been used. You're used. You finish your, you finish your poem. Um, in all of this, you've kind of lost track of Ron. He steps off the stage and. Sorry, who? Ron. The, Ron the, yeah. the, I love, I love. Producer. You've lost track of who? Who was that? <laughs> yeah. um, I actually, literally. Don't uh, know. So at the end of your poem, the, you will step off the stage. Where are you going? I'm going to go sit down to Elvira. Elvira, right, yeah. And I'm yeah. going to text her, thanks. <laughs> um, sarcasm, hash, hashtag sarcasm. Okay, so you get you a brilliant love heart. <laughs> Take me uh, forward <laughs> slash S. Yeah. Cool, so the stage is blank. Expecting someone else is. is cool, Frank. Um, no? Cool. So after a, a, <laughs> okay, okay, slightly, okay. After a slightly uh, you know, uh, pregnant pause where the stage goes blank, Frank steps back up onto. Um, the stage, and he, um, you know, he's still shaking, and he's still Ron. Um, Ron. Ron. Yeah, the the yes. the guy who introduced the the, the whole guy who snatched the page, page off you. Yes, yeah. um, and he uh, says, "The song of Casilda." What? Sorry. The song of Casilda. Do you actually say that? No, I no, I actually couldn't actually hear. Yeah. Like, Along the shore, the cloud waves break. The twin suns sink behind the lake. The, sh the shadows lengthen in Carcosa. 
Strange is the night where the black stars rise, and strange moons circle through the skies, but stranger still is lost Carcosa. Songs that the Hyades sing, shall, shall sing, where flap the tatters of the king, must die unheard in dim Carcosa. Mm -hmm. Song of my soul, my voice is dead, die through unsung as tears unshed, shall dry and die in lost Carcosa. Can you give me... Uh, this sounds a little bit... This sounds a little bit too highbrow for the Lakeside Coffee cool. House. Can you give me a spot hidden roll, oh. everybody, please? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I succeeded? Great. No, I failed. Oh. One. One. You know... Oh, you know, can I just say... A critical success one? Every, yeah. every game, I suck at rolling. I just, just this, is, this, is a, this is a thing, right? I suck at rolling. I am amazing at this game. Yeah. I just rolled a one out of a hundred. It's almost yeah. like rolling low is good. I know, <laughs> but like, but like, this is like, you know, how you kind of like, you go and you go, you go and like, you play pool, and for just that night, can you give you me a listen check, miss? please, Clancy? Amazing. Sorry, a listen check. A listen check. This is your second chance. Yes. Cool. You note that there are some people who absolutely they're blown away by this amazing poem that that Ron has recited, but there are several people among them, Derek, next to you, who are very unimpressed by that and you hear Al Alvia next to you basically going oh. Oh. just like in, in indignation. WTF. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. So you're, you're gonna, gonna be like that. Right. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> OMG. It's not even original. Ruffles. It's from I don't know if I should tell you. <gasps> and you notice that Necronomicon? <laughs> um, yeah. Just poor poor Bingo doesn't even speak anymore. You, She's so you're gone crazy. Hidden. I just need to read the page that you read before. Um, yeah, so the, you remember the name Carcosa. Yeah. Yeah, from the poem that you yeah. read. Um, so oh, you okay. know that there's a connection between that. And at that moment, because you had that kind of inkling, uh, and you have a dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And you hear Derek mutter, the king in yellow. The king in yellow. Mm. You'll give me an occult roll, please. Right, oh, absolutely. King in yellow. Th there was a reference to the king in that he poem. Was there was rags. Could you could you repeat that, or, or is that the moment gone? King, uh, <coughs> we flap the tatters nope. of the king. We flap the tatters. I have zero for it anyway, so I had a five percent chance, and I failed. Okay. I had a nine. So. You had a 90% chance of failing. No, I had a, a roll in oh, okay. so I don't know what my number is. No. <laughs> so this, this, this... Your number is five. This name means nothing to you at this point, but clearly uh, it's upset. Um, Alvia, there's someone sitting next to you is a sort of a young, uh, quite prim-looking um, author. She's got, like, a notebook out, and she, she also is... Can I look at what she's writing? Oh. Yeah, she, she's written <coughs> pages written, you know, not original, exclamation mark, underline, underline. I'm going to turn quite inten intensely towards her. Mm. Who wrote that? The King in Yellow. Wrote it. It's, it's, it's from the play. The King in Yellow? I've never heard of The King in Yellow. <coughs> it's better that way. And she kind of looks away. At that point, Ron starts to read a second poem. Um, is he, does he look like he's wanting to read this? Like, um, yeah, no, look, look, there's, there's, kind of a, there's kind of a... Are they fearful as well as a No, bit, there's like... no fearful. It's kind of that, that um, uh, they're flabbergasted because he's defrauded them by reading a poem that's not his and claiming it's original. That's really the the biggest issue that they have. So it's not a um, it's, it's not, not a, a it's yeah. not a fear. It's not an it's it's more indignation that he's defrauded the poetry night. So it's all about the poetry. Oh, um, right. But underneath that, there is the fact that this. So can we Google it? Are you going to Google it? Can we? So while you're googling it. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't. Why no, you no. You've, you've got your BlackBerry. It's very. I like, it. I like, to do the, anything I like this larping that's going on here from from, from Frank. <laughs> hey, um, it's got more accurate buttons than my iPhone does. While you, <laughs> whilst, whilst, Stab, stable PDFs. Yes. Whilst you are googling it, <laughs> yeah. um, and you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you know, um, LV next to you is kind of just. Oh. 
almost to the point where she pulls the, her hair away from her face and um, actually shows her what? real anger. Wow, right. that's cool. Whilst all of that is happening, and Derek is also not very happy. I'm, I'm just going to text her plagiarism exclamation point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lol. You haven't heard the half of it. Mm. Okay. Anyway, at that moment, Ron starts to read a second part. He seems to become kind of quite fervid at this point, like like this is the, the, the climax of his evening. All right. Tell me, have you seen the yellow sign, traced your fingers along its design, felt its fire beneath your skin, known that it spread to all your kin? Have you seen the king in yellow, heard your screams and silence bellow, tasted his delicious horror forever on your tongue, as you bowed your head in true obeisance, bringing one step closer our king's renaissance? Ek nas janer sknigru and resok pets in ogni not so rather in the damn. Whilst he's doing that, um, a mist you know the starts buddy? to spread what along does? the floor. Sorry, can you all, mist. A yeah, can mist? you all give me um, own language use rolls, please? A yellow okay. mist or a white just a, mist? Just a normal white mist, but a normal unnatural white mist. Hang on, what was the lang oh, like just language? Yeah. Language, yeah. Own, own, which is our education. Own language, yeah. Succeed? Yes. Yep. Succeed? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Missed by two. Missed by two. You succeeded? Yeah. So from your fun days online and at university, <coughs> you recognise that the lines that sounded like gibberish that he started to recite as soon as he finished the poem are in fact the backwards reading of the poem in reverse. <gasps> So that's it, very cool. Ignacian air is Renaissance backwards. You, the way you say it, though, because you're a historian, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Was really comes across <laughs> quite nicely. <laughs> so so, you, so re you recognise that that's something weird, but this mist starts to roll in. I cannot wait to watch this and actually put it in the editor and put it backwards oh. and just see what you actually how so it actually <laughs> sounds. Well, that, that's that's how they filmed. Um, Firewalk with me, wasn't it? Yes. The guy who speaks yes. backwards every yeah. minute. Sometimes my like, arms bend backwards. Sometimes my arms bend backwards. Yes. You're like, whoa, messy. Anyway, so I can read the entire thing backwards and see how it sounds. <laughs> whoa. Okay. Um, and the mist starts to, to come through. As he gets to the end of the poem in reverse, he immediately pulls out a revolver, puts it under his chin, <gasps> and pulls the trigger. His body, his body does not drop because what? his last action after that head is gone is the, the arms pull open his shirt. After the shot? Yeah. And what you see is a writhing sign on his chest. Can you please pull the card from under Out of my butt? Seek? Yeah. So in, cut into his chest. Mm, I'm not sure I can show this to the camera. Um, um, no, it's the one, it's the one there. Oh, if see, you can see on the doing. on the bottom right of the screen, you will see. Cool. So Ron's, yeah, if you can't, yeah. Ron's bare flesh has been caref carefully carved away to form an open wound in the shape of the yellow sign. His entire torso is discoloured with ribbons of purple and red, Whoa. oozing white pus from cracks and open sores. His body is bloated with infections and reeks of gangrene that he's tried to hide with... Menthol. Menthol. Uh, the yellow sign is crisply outlined in black necrotic flesh. The arms of the symbol seem to move and writhe because every centimetre of the wound is covered in fat yellow maggots, greedily oh. feasting oh. on the poet's rotting body. Please make sanity checks. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, Murray. What about like in real life? <laughs> Can I make a sanity check? Oh, I failed. I think I should have failed too. Okay. No. Yeah, I failed massively. <laughs> not like critical. So all yeah. fails? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's not that's not uh, healthy. Six points of sanity, please. Fail? Yes. Ten points of sanity, oh. please. Seven points of sanity. Yeah, that's good. Ten points puts me over the ten okay. percent mark. I am Is that also right? over the ten percent mark. <coughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Murray, can you, John? Can you pick one for me? No. Did you go up ten percent? I'm. I was yeah. fifty, okay, and cool. I took seven. Mm -hmm. Yep. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of. I have epistemomania. Yeah, I get that sometimes. Epistemomania. I <laughs> must learn everything I can. You have an unnatural compulsion for acquiring knowledge. So you. That are, fits your character. Okay, so, so you well. are. You are horrified, and yet. You stand and uh -huh. you move towards this writhing yellow sign of maggots. I, I pull up Facebook Live. 
Yep. And I broadcast what I'm seeing okay. live Great. to the internet. <coughs> no. That's going to help you, the yeah, people on, what um, are you afraid of? on Facebook. I flee in panic. I run out through... Is there a back through the cafe? I'll okay. go out. If that is the fastest way for me to get out, way? I'll okay. go out yep. that way. Cool. Yeah, otherwise, I'll go you're, through you're the front heading, door. You're heading that way? Yep. Yep. What about you? <laughs> Where's the lake? Um, so the lake Don't. is the lake is Don't behind you. Don't go there. No, how close? Uh, you've got to go through the crowd, through the door, across the road, through down to the shore, into the water. But it's viewable, right? Because I've got no. Hy- you need, you'd need to turn around and see it. Hydrophobia. You're afraid of the lake. <gasps> I'm oh. afraid of water. Okay. Whether an ocean, river, or even a bathtub, fill with the dread of thought of immersing yourself, that's going to help my cleanliness. Can it be the cafe, like the sound of yep. the... So, um, behind you is the yeah. lake. So you know there's a lake there, but I don't think it's really... You're just not going to turn around anytime soon. Oh, dear God. Whilst this is happening, and whilst you are going towards it on Facebook Live... Uh, yeah. Who's thirsty right about now? You are, you are pushing your way... You have to go across the front of the stage to get... To the back door. By yeah. the way, the, the chat said you're vicious, which is <laughs> which is appropriate. So um, this is kind of weird because in the in the monk thing, I got hydrophobia oh, in that one yeah. as well, and I was a beer And it's quite, oh, it's so. quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you get there, the body of Ron starts to spread uh. and and grow until it explodes. What what is everyone doing? Um, they're all this, they're they're all there are still people. There are still people filming. There is screaming. There's there's yeah yeah, yeah yeah. There's 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 a couple of people who think this is still part of the performance poetry and it's like the best puppet work they've ever seen. Um, this is there are some people who are filming it. There are some people who are freaking out. Some people are pushing back. So this is all happening very quickly. Um, and there are some people who are pushing back in their chairs and making their way towards the glass front door of the the lake house coffee room. Um, I um. I say to my Facebook Live listeners, does anyone know what the condition is? What condition this is? As all of this is happening, his body starts to expand and then it explodes in a shower of gore and maggot and filth and it covers all of you uh. and you all sink into unconsciousness. Uh. So I'm halfway out the door and I just... Yeah, so you basically made it to the bar yeah, and uh, making it out yeah. the back. Yeah. Um, and you all sink into I unconsciousness. I got some in my mouth. Yep, and look, I think look, we might, live stream. We might, we might take a very quick break there. Oh, yeah, to wash.